But you've likely been curious about tarot, or you are a tarot card reader, or you like to play with oracle cards. And when you first jumped into it, you hopped on YouTube and you felt completely overwhelmed in your nervous system. Great. Totally get it. So today I'm going to be sharing some very simple, yet very powerful, unique tarot card spreads. Now, practice makes magic. So remember that practicing and gaining that strong connection with you and your soul is the key factor in this. Memorizing the cards isn't the key. Weaving in your meaning is the key. So don't get lost in the sauce and just really explore in any kind of divination so that you can connect back based on your opinion on what you're seeing. So go with a no mind. Keep it simple. So keeping it simple, for beginners, we want to start small. So we really want to opt for one to six cards if you're doing a spread. And smaller spreads are just as effective and less overwhelming if you really allow the nuances to come out from the card. So one way is to do a daily reflection just with one card. And every day I do this in the morning, I make it a ritual. I pulled two cards, actually, one on from the top of the deck, which represents the conscious mind, and one from the bottom of the deck. When I get home at night, I embody these two cards together, which is a fantastic way to really embody, do just that, really feel it through emotionally in the nervous system. And again, this is a really great spread when you've got a million ideas going. I see you, ADHD friends. Keep it simple. The two card, you could also do something like, what can I release and what can I receive? Another option would be do this, but be wary and probably don't want to do that. Now, these spreads provide clarity on what you need to let go of, or maybe areas of improvement or areas you need to make decisions. Now, if we look at three cards, we really want to embrace the three card spread in different ways of maybe saying with, without, and what advice would be best, or you, me, and we, or this one's famous, past, present, and future. And lastly is a weekly overview. So consider your weekly reading of your cards, the beginning, middle, and the end of the week. It's really simple yet effective to really give you the broadened perspective of what is going to be coming your way, and then to reflect. Now, my favorite is the elements. I love layering the different five elements with any spread or single card. Now, when you introduce the elements, the wands represent fire, the cups are going to represent water, swords are the air and metal, you can bind those in, and pentacles is going to be earth. Now, these elements really bring layered in meaning. So as an example, it states that the wands are reflective in fire, and fire it represents the passion, the creativity, your willpower, your tenacity to maybe mingle with other people, whereas water is going to be with the cups, and it's going to be deep reflection, an emotional state that you need to feel more fully. So just allow the one card, two card, maybe three card of more clarity that you need during the day or through your week to allow the unconscious and the superconscious show itself through your interpretation of your own, because that is what's divine. So explore, enjoy your tarot adventures, and I uh, hope you grab a couple of these ideas. They will be in the show notes, and I'll also give you a spread of different additional questions, because remember, Quality of your life is in the quality of the questions that you ask. It's not asking for the answer. It's becoming afferent, being causal in your life and allowing yourself to integrate with what the cards are showing you. All my love, all my light.